Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Gonal F RFF ReadyJECT pen. Gonal F RFF ReadyJECT is an injection pen that delivers a prescription medicine containing follicle stimulating hormone. Gonal F RFF ReadyJECT is for use under the skin only, which you may also hear described as subcutaneous. Very important. Only use Gonal F RFF ReadyJECT if your healthcare provider trains you on how to use it correctly. The instructions I'm about to share are the same instructions I learned during training with my healthcare team. To help guide me at home or wherever I'm using the pen, I refer to the instructions for use found with the prescription. That's this here. If for any reason you lose your instructions for use or prescribing information, not to worry. You can download and print a copy from readyject.com. Before we begin, there are a couple of warnings that my healthcare team stressed with me. Number one, do not reuse needles. And number two, do not share the pen and needles with another person because doing so can cause an infection. These are important warnings. Okay, now we can get started. Let's gather our supplies. I'm going to demonstrate with a single pen, but please note that you may need to use more than one pen to give your intended dose. If you need to use two pens, follow these same instructions for both pens. Take the carton out of the refrigerator at least 30 minutes before you inject to let it warm to room temperature. This will help make the injection more comfortable. This takes time, so be patient. Don't try to speed up the process by using a microwave or anything else to warm the pen. Let it warm up naturally. Now, prepare a clean flat surface, like a table or countertop, in a well-lit area. Identify a firm vertical surface, such as the side of your ReadyJECT carton or a wall. You will also need a sharps container, alcohol pads, and a pen or pencil. These items are not included. All right, step one, let's get ready. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water, then dry them well. Now, remove the pen and a new needle from the carton. Don't shake the pen. Check to make sure you have the right dose and check the expiration date. You should not use an expired pen. If your pen is expired, you will need to get a new one from your doctor or pharmacist. Are you following along? If I'm going too fast, pause the video and rewind. Take these steps at your own pace to ensure you get them right. On to step two, choosing and preparing your injection site. Select an area around your stomach for the injection, like your doctor or nurse showed you during your training, and wipe the skin with an alcohol pad to clean the site. A good tip is to choose a different injection site each time you give your injection. This will help to reduce potential redness, irritation, or other skin problems. Step three, attach your needle. First, pull off the pen cap. Make sure the plastic reservoir that holds the medicine is not cracked. Confirm the medicine is clear, colorless, and does not contain particles. If the plastic is cracked or if the liquid is discolored or cloudy, get a new pen from your doctor or pharmacist. Check that the needle's peel-off seal is not broken. If it is, get a new needle. Now, peel off the needle seal. Push the needle onto the clear plastic end of the pen and twist the needle until you cannot twist it anymore. One point of caution, don't attach the needle too tightly, otherwise the needle could be difficult to remove after the injection. Pull off the outer needle cap and save it for removing the needle after the injection. Keeping the needle pointing up, carefully pull off the green inner needle shield and throw it away. Lastly, a warning. Do not recap the needle with the green inner needle shield. You could stick yourself with the needle. Before I move on to the next step, I need to ask if you're using a new pen or reusing a pen. If your pen is new, as mine is here, then check for a droplet of liquid at the tip of the needle. If you see a droplet, then move on to step four. If you don't see a droplet or you're not sure, pause the video and follow the instructions for use in Appendix B, how to create a droplet of liquid. If you are reusing a pen, no need to check for droplets. You can move on to step four, dial your dose. If you're not sure of your dose, call your healthcare provider to make sure you have the correct dose. Be careful not to push or pull the dose knob while you turn it to avoid damaging it. Turn the dose knob until your intended dose shows in the dose information display. This is an enhanced feature of the ReadyJECT pen with an updated display for clear legibility. If needed, you can turn the dose knob backward if you turn it past your intended dose. It's now time to inject the dose. Let's do it. 
It's important to make sure the dose information display, this window on the pen, matches the intended dose. For example, if your intended dose is 150 IU, confirm that the dose information display reads 150, like so. IU is short for International Units of Medicine. The pen comes in three different IU amounts, 300 IU, 450 IU, and 900 IU. Now that we've confirmed the dose, we can go ahead and inject. Hold the pen at a 90 degree angle to the chosen and prepared injection site. If the needle is not inserted straight in at a 90 degree angle, the needle could bend. Push the needle into your skin. Use your thumb to press the dose knob straight down as far as it will go. Do not release the dose knob until you remove the needle from your skin. Hold the dose knob down for a slow count of five before you remove from your skin. One, two, three, four, and five. There, remove the needle from your skin, then release the knob. Let's see how we did. See how it reads zero? We've completed the dose. If for any reason your pen does not show zero, you will need to use a second pen to inject the number shown in the dose information display to complete your dose. After my injections, I tend to feel hopeful and optimistic and for a brief moment, think about the possibilities. But wait, we're not done. On to step six, removing and throwing away the needle. A warning for this step, we must remove the needle from the pen and throw it away after each injection to avoid risk of infection. Always be careful in handling needles. I'll talk you through this step as I demonstrate. Lay the outer needle cap on its side on a flat surface. Then hold the pen with the needle attached in one hand and slip the needle into the outer needle cap without using your other hand. Push the capped needle against a firm vertical surface like the carton or a wall until you hear a click. Twist off the capped needle and throw it away in an approved Sharps disposal container, like this one here. After removing the needle, recap the pen. If you have medicine left in a pen after injecting, store it in the refrigerator or at room temperature for up to 28 days. If the pen is empty after your injection, throw it away in the Sharps container. Appendix C of the instructions for use has more detailed information on proper disposal of the needle and pen. For everyone's safety, don't throw away loose needles and pens in your everyday household trash. In your instructions for use, you'll notice a treatment diary, which can be cut or torn off. With this, you can record your injection, the last step of the instructions for use. This step is optional, but I find it's a great way to keep track of my injections to ensure I'm always taking the right dose. I take this with me to appointments for reference, so I know exactly when and how much medicine I've taken. Remember, the instructions for use and full prescribing information have additional information. This video is a supplement for the instructions for use, but no substitute for information from your doctor or healthcare team. Contact your healthcare team with any questions or concerns. That's it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information, please visit readyject.com or call 1-866-538-7879.